Alf, we are uh, fast running out of time. Uh, one other question for you is, um, how would you inspire us? What do we need to do? What can we do to enact change? Well, it comes down to politics, I suppose. Uh, so can I give you a little, uh, a few asks? First of all, uh, if you feel like lobbying your MP, now if, if you're in Cambridge, I think he's a good guy. Uh, not all MPs are good, are good guys. Guys I use for men and women, by the way. Uh, not all MPs are, are good. Please talk to your MP. Ask them to press the government on child refugees, whether they're coming under my amendment or under the WMC or, or, or whatever. If they're doing well, pat them on the back. If they're not doing well, ask them to do it. Ask them to do it. Secondly, go to your local authority and ask them what they're doing about helping to take refugees, including child refugees. That would be positive. Thirdly, in whatever organization you are, allow the case to be heard, the arguments to be put, and the thing to be debated so that we all, not just about refugees in Calais, we also know about the Rohingyas and, and the ones suffering in the Horn of Africa and so on. So please make your voice heard. Get the, get the issue of refugees higher up the agenda, get it into the headlines, and use whatever vehicles are open to you and whatever organizations you are members of or associated with to spread the word. But above all, have a go at the politicians. Keep pushing them. Thank you very much. Um, before, before you go, have you actually voted while we've been speaking? No, uh, it hasn't happened yet. I, I think oh, but it's all right. I only have to press, please, only have to press, press on my iPad. It's okay. okay. <laughs> All right. Well, I shall let you um, move on and, and focus on the next important thing on your agenda. Um, Alf Dubs, thank you so much for your time um, and for all the brilliant questions, actually, that have been coming through far better than any of the questions that um, I had in front of me. You're all a clever bunch. So thank you for um, uh, joining in with that conversation. Of course, we could have kept this part of uh, this evening going for far longer, but I know that you're very busy, Alf. So many, many thanks. Can I just say something, particularly if I'll ask Jan here. Uh, Jan, of course, I, I've known for a long time. Jan used to be, uh, Jan lived in Battersea when I was MP for Battersea many years ago. Uh, and, and and then she worked she worked in Brussels with Neil Kinnock, uh, and then she came in the Lords, and, and now she's doing this fantastic job here in Somerville. So Jan has been a friend for a long time. When Jan asked me to do something, I would never say no. I'd never uh, say no. May I say, neither would I. <laughs> but, but but could I just thank 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 some of the other man for, for 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 the event for the questions give me a chance to say something and and thank you but please bear in mind there are many many people who are working organizations like safe passage and help refugees and care for Cali who are doing a lot of work and, and I'm just the, media, the the guy who gets the media attention there are a lot of people who are doing this uh, so please there's a there's a lot of support for this and a lot of active people all deserve our thanks. Alf Dubs, thank you very much. If it were possible, I'm sure there would be a huge virtual ricochet sound of applause around the internet. Thank you very much uh, for your time. Um, and I repeat that we all have such admiration for everything that you're doing. Thank you.